Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things. I'm in my final couple of days of the annual sellathon. It has been going awesome. I have a giant pile of packages ready to go, and I am $92 from meeting my goal. So that is good with two days left, so things are looking positive. Yesterday we had a little accident with our um, black tank, and so we are having to get a new toilet. So I'm late getting going on this because one yesterday's uh, snafu that happened took up some time. It's been about 92 to 95 every day, and because of what happened, I had the door open uh, cleaning up the mess. So it got to be in the mid 80s in here. So today we've been able to keep the temperature cool, but we did have to go toilet shopping. So what I have done is I came home from that knowing I had to do my winter is coming Wednesday. This is episode eight. So it's the second week in July. Uh, and we're now doing weekly episodes. And I had a card that I was working on. I have finished it. I will go over it first. I had a second focal that I had colored and I cannot for the life of me find it. So I will keep looking for it. With getting all of these products sold, my desk is rather a mess. So I will be moving on to two interesting um, packets of already stamped images from last summer, actually from last July. So uh, that'll be the second part of this. It won't be very long and then I'm probably going to be finishing those next week. Today I'm just going to review um, my options and talk about uh, some of the unique colors that were used. So the first one is, here is the finished Sunny Seasons Greetings with the whitewashed wood with the beachy look. I have not added the rhinestones, I just noticed that, that I was going to add the fancy everything rhinestones. I don't think I'm going to add any trim, though I could, but I think I will leave the trim off and I will definitely go, as soon as we're done, I'm going to go get them. I will apply them and take photography so that I can have a finished version of this for everyone to see at the end in the showcase. This will be the only showcased item. When I find that one missing focal, I had talked about that Fisker's knife, so I will demonstrate how I cut out these trees. You can use an electronic fussy cutter like a brother which I own and I have used extensively or you can use the Fisker's knife I will um, again have a link to it set up in my Amazon shop with some other supplies that I have talked about and I really like how this turned out now hub he thinks this is a little bit boring it's on the soft side um, I still really like it I find the merits of the variety of colors. If I did everything exactly the way he would want me to do, everything would be vibrant, bright colors with lots of bling. And so I like to vary my creations and I am totally okay with how this turned out. So the next pile, I have this packet that I opened. Now this was supposed to be a project we worked on last summer at the quarterly meeting. The colors were already pre-chosen um, for us, so the supplies, I didn't have my own supplies with me, and they were focusing on the new in colors, so these supplies have the for the evening evergreen soft succulent fresh freesia and polished pink. So I've had this set, set aside and last winter I was considering using it for making some holiday cards. I'm now going to revisit it again. And I have 
looking for, I'm going to see if all the pieces are here. So I did a, some, a variety of stamping. Uh, you can see that, I can't remember for this, this was supposed to be a photo, it was like an 8 by 8 collage image and I don't have room for any picture frames in the trailer it's just I've tried to have that kind of stuff on the walls and it's just too crazy to try to put it up then take it down and stow it safely and then I had one that I took the glass out of the frame but I still it ended up I forgot to remove it and that's the big problem forgetting to remove something that's on the wall so it ended up getting squished in the slide so now I just have the inside of the picture up on the wall. It's matted and it just doesn't have the frame anymore because the frame was destroyed. So I gave the frame away and I went ahead knowing that I would be doing some different things with this. And I've got some die cuts here. I trimmed down a few pieces of the mountain scene. I don't know if you can see it, but I really liked the shadow mountain in the background in this really soft, creamy color. It's a stamped off, I think it's a stamped off so saffron here. You can see that with the polished pink, it was not stamped off as much. This might have been stamped off two times. And I've got where I did soft succulent mount, um, foreground. I liked that one so well I did another one and I just changed the placement of the mountains. Um, here is the placement of the mountains with the evening evergreen and another centered one and then I see, let's see, I did some envelopes. I don't know if I did a polished pink envelope. What have I got? Three envelopes here. So at a minimum, I will be able to put together three of the uh, fresh freesia to make Christmas cards. I think that it'll, it'll be a success. We'll see, because I've got um, some other pieces then to add. And then this polished pink will probably turn into a different kind of card. I do not have this stamp setter dies. So what I've got is what I've got. I do have, this was going to be the background. And I can trim it down to use to A2 size if I would like, but I do own this embossing folder, so I can go ahead and uh, redo it on the A2 size. And I swear there are more die cuts. I tell you, things are just so crazy the packaging that I had it in. Oh, here it is. I do have other pieces that I can play with. There were some squares I see of various sizes in this little collage scene we were going to make. And then I have a few more die cut trees. So I'm already seeing, I didn't actually take everything out before starting this up with you. I can see that I've got some extra pieces here. Um, these can be the bases for the three, because I think there are three here. One, two, three, yep. So I will be able to put together a few cards. I do have all of this card stock, so I'll probably stash this away for another day. I've got some tall trees. So there's a few trees here to play with some layouts. And then I did pull. So I like that what I've got is enough parts and pieces to put together three cards with the envelopes and the bases here. It's looking like predominantly white and then I have the leaves of holly that I 
pulled out a die for a label. Here's the one die that I really liked. And then I do have a smaller, this label, that I could do. But for now, for what I am doing, I have two. Wow, this is really stuck. And now I'm seeing something else fun to play with. So I showed you that I have some extra square pieces. I am envisioning that this die, yes, well, it'll be interesting to see exactly how this cuts. So this should fill in, if I wanted to do a solid background, here is the stamped version, and if I wanted to have behind here the holly be green I can use this stamp I may have to trim these solid ones down if I wanted to do all three because the only one I have that's trimmed down which I was thinking of using wanted to put this up top and pop it up, put this one down below and pop it up, and see, I can go ahead and trim. In fact, I have my die cutter right here, and I'm going to do that really quick, so we can look at that. I like that even though life is crazy out of control, that I have this to keep me focused at least once a week on the holiday cards so that come the holidays I will be ready and every year I send out more and more cards to people the other interesting thing to mention is if you did not know postage rates went up so the price I have not reviewed the prices for so here is this extra little piece that I believe will attach like so. And then that will be what the card looks like. And I think that is a very lovely, clean and simple. And I'm okay with the Fresh Freesia. I want to know what you guys think. I could even, I'm not so fond of this polished pink. It is here. I stamped off. No, it appears that that's just a, a soft succulent, so I didn't stamp off the Evening Evergreen. Let me know. This one is the one I'm, I'm questioning whether or not it really will work. So I am curious what you think. And I will go ahead and take photography of a few of these layouts. And then the last piece is I did some trim, and I am thinking this trim is the... evening evergreen and I want to put it underneath this label so in the end I will have some photographs and I would love to get your input on whether or not you feel that this would work now the other thing that I am thinking of doing to give it some interest is to have the background be these evergreen trees. And let's see if I can kind of block it out to make the A2 size. Because so I can go ahead and make all of them have the textured background. not to come over the top corner here, something like that, and then it will either be this, in 
set just a little bit. Yeah, I think I would like that. So I might make, you know, one or two of them smooth and then one or two of them have the evergreen background. So between these two colors, let me know what you think. Am I going to get away with the polished pink and who would I really send it to? Or should I just be safe and take my, I have three of the, actually I have four with the fresh freesia and I could trim these all down. The way I placed the two centered ones, I did not feel that this Merry Christmas label would really work. Let me know what you think of this one. I feel that the mountains can't be in the in the middle. I just don't feel that that's gonna work. But perhaps this extra white space doesn't bother you. So that's another option. That's not terrible. And then, I do have this one that I placed the mountains in the bottom. I did not do one with the mountains up tall. I have two of them with the mountains on the bottom. Let's try this one. See, I think that it's just, there's not enough room at the top here. So, you know, it could be something like that. And in that case, I would not use this green piece. I want the mountains to show so that it looks like I really intended it to be that way. Because if I move it up, it just doesn't quite, it doesn't work for me. No. So, as I said, I'll probably have to trim these down. So that's all I've got with that one set of designs, and I'll do some layouts and put those at the end as a showcase. And then there is this other pack that also came. Uh, we did these projects, and I never got to putting these into Christmas cards. These are a little bit more forgiving because they are the Evening Evergreen Soft Succulent, or and that might be stamped off, and then Early Espresso. So this one is the Avid one that we did. I really like it a lot, and it's got the thinking of you with the bird, and it's all, I, I finished it all when I was there, and then the inside is nicely done. So what I am thinking I can do is one of two things. I did make a second, there's this label, but there is the Christmas Wishes here, and I made another one, here it is, Christmas Wishes, I put it way over in a safe spot. So my thought is with the Christmas Wishes that the bird I will carefully pop up, I'm afraid to take him off now, he's only on with a, with a dot, I believe. So I can play around with removing this top thinking of you and replace it with this Christmas wishes. And then if I add the green solid, I then would not have to worry about taking the think of you, thinking of you off. I would just want to move the bird up. So what do you guys think? Move that just barely up here so that it's on the already finished A2 base. I think that this would make a nice card. As, it, as I said, this one's kind of a cheat. It's not so hard to do. And I'll take off this silver trim. It already has the three rhinestones and I will add the bird on the top. And are you okay with the tilted Christmas wishes? I didn't think that this one would work as well because it, I mean, it's okay, but it's a little too dainty, I think more on the elegant side, and I think that this particular font works better for this card. So this will definitely get made, and I will try to get this silver off and take some quick photography of it. And then I have 
Um, I did do a bunch of different backgrounds. I have, this one is a finished, more of a simple, clean and simple design. And I have the other label that's just a rectangle. And I have this new set of sentiments to look at. We've got a nice season's greetings that can span across the front. I really like this Tis the Season. That actually would fit nicely. I just have to find a uh, popped up sentiment space. I probably, if I do this one, I would do a green label and use white heat embossing. And I will definitely add green trim. So this green trim would look fine underneath and I'll just have to trim it off. We'll see how that would work because it is a sheer and, I, and I've and i already put it together so I can't really fold it under. So there's a second one to work on. This one is gonna take more work because I haven't got um, any label, small labels out. Uh, so the photography on this one, this one might wait until the beginning of the next episode next week and I'll get it more finished. And the nice thing is, I love having finished envelopes. I've got at least one envelope here, but I know nope, I've got three. So I've got a couple different versions. I was playing with them. I have a simple version, um, whether or not I want to cover this with something or just trim it up. I don't need all of these to be turned into holiday cards. Um, so if I were to keep one, this one I probably would keep, but I could easily add a horizontal sentiment along here, trim it down and mat it. Maybe even double mat that one. And that is all I've got. Let me know what your thoughts are going back to, can I get away with polished pink for a holiday card? or even fresh freesia, which I, for me, I think I can get away with the fresh freesia over the polished pink, but I want to know your thoughts. Again, I'll have photography at the end. This one's going to be a short one. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.